Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to create a YouTube banner. Since my last video of my YouTube banner did such a good job, I said, well, why not make another one? So yes, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is come over here and click on create a design. Once you click on that, you just want to scroll down and click on youtube banner or you could just search it up here so that's what i'm going to do just go ahead and click on youtube banner okay so you can either start from scratch or you can use one of these youtube banners that's already over here i'm not going to start from scratch well basically it will be start from scratch but then again it won't but i'm going to show you what i'm going to do so if you need something to guide you you can use one of these or you could go to google.com and just type in YouTube banner um, template and you could just use that for your guide. So, but what I'm going to do is click on this one right here to help guide me, but I'm not going to keep everything the same. So what I'm going to do here is just, just delete the left. And this right here, let me go ahead and change my background color. Change my background color to the color pink, which is such a pretty pink. And this one, this right here, I'm going to change to the color white. So I have changed that to the color white. Now I want, because it did look a, a little transparent. So I'm taking the transparency up to 100. Go to elements and just search for a shadow and you'll see exactly why I will be adding a shadow to this. So I'm going to go to my shadows and I'm going to pick this one right here. And you will need Canva Pro for some of the elements that I am currently using. But there are some that will be free. So... Okay, so I have that because I did, I didn't want to like have it looking so plain. So I just want to add like a little shadow on it to give it that pop, you know. Now I want to go and add my pictures that's going to cover the white all the way across. Okay, so this is the picture that I am going to use and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to keep it all like this but I am going to show you what would be done so I'm going to basically crop it like that and I'm going to pull it down so it basically it will be like three images of each pull it back up like this and then I'm going to make a copy but I'm not going to keep this set of pictures. I'm going to pull that crop down like that. So I can crop the other set of images that I want. And so, yeah, that's basically all that I'll be doing. So now... I want to like click on the pictures and then I'm going to go to add an image. Go to add an image, scroll down. I'm trying to go to the filters. So I'm going to click on see all for filters and I'm going to click on grayscale. Do the same for this one, grayscale. Then I'm going to go to my transparency. Take it all, not all the way down, but to maybe like a 31 is fine. I'm going to take this one down to like a 31. Okay, so now we have that. I need to do some adjusting. Okay, so I don't want to, because I didn't want like any harsh lines up there. Now I'm going to go and get some more images to add up here. I have my two images that I want to add so of course I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit image 
and remove the background. You will need Canva Pro for this, but if you don't have Canva Pro, you can always go to a website like um, BG, well, Remove BG or something like that. I will leave a link in the description down below for y'all to check it out if you don't have Canva Pro. And I'm going to also do the same with this picture right here. And of course, I'm going to like make it smaller so it fit into that frame itself. I don't like how it did her shoes, so let me zoom in and crop it. So I do not like that. I think that right here is better. Let me zoom back out. I do want to go in like make some adjustments to her picture. I could do the same for this one. Okay. So now we have that. I want to bring these closer and crop that down some. I don't want her like her foot hanging over. Okay, so now I have the pictures in place. I want to add the text. Like basically, I'm gonna put um the name of her YouTube channel up here and her social medias and so on. I'm just going to type the real cow sister because that is the name of her YouTube channel. Now I want to go and just change it to that same pink. Why didn't it change? I don't know. Let's try this again. Okay, so of course you can't see that. So what I want to do is take this and add, go to effects. What I'm going to do is add a shadow behind it so you'll be able to see it better. See? And that's all it takes is you adding a shadow behind the letter sometimes and it will still make it pop. And you will be able to so I'm just making some adjustments to this shadow to get it how I want it to look. Okay, so this right here will be absolutely fine. And I'm going to just place it where I want it to be. Okay, so we have that set in place. Now I want to go and add another text. And I'm, of course, I'm not going to keep the same font. But I am going to write what her YouTube channel is about. So basically, on her YouTube channel, she she basically does cooking. Because lately she has been doing cooking. So I'm just put cooking. I'm going to change the font on it. There are too many O's in there, but I did change it. So I changed the font on it. Now I want to go and just add, make it all caps like that okay you know what i could put something else so this won't just be one worded so i want to do just put one style okay, i'm going to put this that like that but i don't have to keep this like that at all i could also go back and change it Okay, so that's better. Put this right here. Okay. So now we're getting somewhere. Next, I want to just basically add the icons. No, I'm just adding my subscribe button. So I'm going to go to elements and just type in subscribe. So you can just type in subscribe, but I already have the ones that I basically been using already. 
So I'm just going to just add those icons that I want to use already on. So if you want to use one where you can change the color, just use this one. So you basically will have to just keep playing around with it. It looks like because I I don't know. Because I before it did let me change the color on it. Just like this one. It let me change the color on it before, but now all of a sudden it's not letting me. So we're just going to have to go back and let's see here. This one. Okay, so this one will let me change it. So I can use that one. Of course, I'm going to keep it the color black. And put it like right here. Then I'm going to add another text. And just put it right there. Let me zoom in so y'all can see better. Okay, so her Twitter name is Mary the the dine so airy the dine so where did I go wrong okay so, so let's uh just delete that so now we have her twitter name I want to make this smaller Okay, so we have that. Now I want to add her Instagram name, which will be the real cow sister. So if you delete that, just put, I don't know why I delete everything. The real cow sister, like that. I want to bring everything a little bit closer. Let's zoom out, see how it looks. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so with this, I'm going to make it smaller, just like that. And of course, I'm going to change this to the color pink, and I'm going to put some black in it. And it also lets you change the colors on it. Which is why I chose it. Okay, so I think this size right here will be good enough. And so yeah, that's the end of this video. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it, um, hit that like button. Please share it with your family, your friends, all over your social media. Subscribe if you're new here. I truly appreciate it if you watch this to the very end. And thank you all again for supporting. So that's it for this video. God bless.